Well, hello there, YouTube world. I'm Jack Madrox, as always, and I am just about done with my painting, and I wanted to share it. Something from me to you. That's right, it's a tree, but this is no ordinary tree. Let me explain. You see, the last time I tried to tell you guys something important, he interrupted me. But let's try that again. No doubt, you've all seen this, right? This, right there, is everything. Y'all have heard of climbing the tree or climbing the mountain used as a metaphorical expression, right? Well, years ago, I took a walk through the woods, not far from where I lived, my whole life. The parts I can remember has been riddled with trouble, illness, and unfortunate circumstances. I've looked for answers in churches, people, drugs, alcohol, video games, music. Everyone else seems to be as lost as I am. And so, I went looking in a place I hadn't yet. I didn't really know those woods. It could have been real easy for me to have lost my sense of direction and I could have died out there. But then I happened upon a clearing and I laid my eyes on a tree not much different than the ones that surrounded it. But the sunlight was shining through it and shining through its branches and the wind picked up and it just felt eerily significant for reasons that weren't clear. I started counting the branches. There were 13. It had 13 branches. And it was in that moment an idea was birthed. A ritual the ritual of 13 popular belief has most people believe that 13 is an unlucky number but it was in the presence of this tree that I realized it isn't 13 that is unlucky it's the journey to 13 that is plagued with the misfortune and hardship because upon the top of that tree was where the light was. I knew then and there that I wanted to reach the top. Are any of you perhaps familiar with an old book called Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes? For those of you who don't, it's a true story about a young girl named Sadako Sasaki who had leukemia due to the bombing of Hiroshima in 1945. Before she died at the young age of 12, she thought if she could make 1,000 paper cranes, that a miracle would happen and she would be cured of her affliction. A beautiful idea. Unfortunately, she only made 644 of the paper cranes, and she died in 1955. And I began to wonder, what if I climbed 13 branches to the top of this tree? Not physically, but mentally and emotionally. My affliction is latinum rude 
what if I can get to 13? Would a miracle happen? And would I be cured of his hold on me? But what does he do to me, you might ask? And I'll ask you again. Can you not see what is there? He twists me. He burns me. He shifts me. Inflicts sadness in situations that doesn't warrant it. Makes me feel agitated when I don't need to be. Tells me to end it all in random passing. Like I'm a puppet on strings. Constantly changing feelings and expressions like a mask. Masks. What if... Every branch of the tree represents one of those masks. Thirteen branches, thirteen masks. And if I can endure all of it and make it to thirteen, maybe, just maybe, a miracle will happen and I will be free of Latinum Rude. <laughs>